Imagine that you are surrounded by your family as you lie in a hospital bed. The doctors have just told them that you will be a vegetable for the rest of your life. Now imagine that you've just awakened from a long slumber, only to realize that you can no longer walk, talk, or read. This happened to a man named Maurice. Maurice was shot in the head. He took a bullet that was meant for someone else. When he came out of the coma, he remembers his mother saying to him, just work as hard as you can, and God will do the rest. Maurice did exactly this. By the time he finished inpatient and outpatient rehab and arrived at our day rehab program, he was walking again, and he was willing to work really, really hard. But Maurice still had little to no expressive verbal skills. He could understand what people were asking of him, but he couldn't respond. Imagine looking at the alphabet. Well, that would be Hebrew. You wrote that one. this way. In order to identify each individual letter. But everything comes out Q. You know that each letter isn't Q, but it keeps happening anyway. Beyond frustrating. Maurice persevered, and he did with the help of our staff and his fellow participant, Elisa. He did learn the alphabet again, and he did learn how to speak again. Despite this important progress, there was still a profound issue that needed to be addressed. After surviving a brain injury, people become lost in regards to their sense of meaning and purpose of their lives. It's the feeling of, okay, I'm alive, but I have all these deficits. What kind of quality of life can I have? Is there a purpose of me being here like this? And if there is, what is it? What if there was a way to help Maurice regain not only his emotional, cognitive, and physical skills, but his sense of purpose as well? All areas of the self become compromised after a brain injury. What if there is an approach that, it, that could attend to the whole self? I've been a dance movement therapist for 20 years in a day rehab program for people who have sustained brain injuries. My staff and I have used this psychotherapeutic approach based on mind-body integration with people who have the shared goal of reintegrating their minds and bodies that have been disintegrated from the trauma. In 2004, we also started to use a therapeutic, choreographic, and performance process created by Marion Chase, the pioneer of dance movement therapy. And coincidentally, around the same time, I was asked to start co-teaching a class created by Susan Imus, based on Chase's work, titled Performance as Therapy. What Susan means by performance as therapy is the growth and change that occurs through creating art pieces that reflect one's personal life experiences, whether it's through dance, writing, visual arts, music, or theater, where the intention while creating the art is for performance. As creative arts therapists guiding the process, we've observed exactly this. Throughout every rehearsal, every art making session, while creating our dances about brain injury, we see improvement cognitively, physically, emotionally, interpersonally, and spiritually. All the areas of the self that become compromised after a brain injury. Cognitively, the participants show improved memory, 
spatial orientation, sense of direction, focus, problem solving, and use of compensatory strategies. What I mean by compensatory strategies is the creation of any kind of technique that makes up for what's not there. For example, most of us probably use post-its every day to, in order to remember the tasks that we want to complete. In performance as therapy, with someone with a brain injury, an example might be a guiding touch cue from a fellow dancer to let them know to change places in space, to let them know where to go on stage. In performance as therapy, because the participants are exploring their physical bodies through creative movements in order to express their personal experiences, the physical benefits are different than regular but very, very necessary physical and occupational therapy exercises. For example, both help improve balance. A very common physical therapy exercise to improve balance is standing on one leg, extending the other, engaging the core muscles, and then putting the spine. Now, while learning to dance, there's a certain momentum in the execution of the movement. And in Dance Movement Therapy Land, we call this momentum flow. The movement is overall more dynamic because of the person's attention to the use of weight, which is correlated with the sensing self, space, which is correlated with the thinking self, time, which is correlated with the intuiting self, and especially flow, because it's correlated with the feeling self. All of this is used in order to personally express the psychological and emotional material underlying the symbolic movement. So with this approach to improving balance, there's more of a dynamic interplay between stability and mobility. So both therapies are definitely needed. They become a foundation for each other, and then it's a lovely marriage between the two therapeutic approaches. Maurice. Maurice has participated in four performance as therapy processes. And right out of the starting gate, he was willing to perform spoken word along with the movement, even though it had been less than a year since he started to learn to speak again. Now it was difficult for him to remember the words during rehearsal, so we created a compensatory strategy. I would say the lines first, and then he would echo them. He was able to speak clearly on the stage, and he was witnessed in doing so. So that's when he realized, whoa, I am brave. I chose to dance and speak in front of 150 people, despite my challenges. Well, that does something to a person, and it becomes transformative. <coughs> Maurice also realized that he could receive expressive exchanges of pure gratitude, admiration, and human connection. He was telling his story of survival and sharing the fact that with hope, faith, and creativity, human beings can overcome. We can go from vegetable to impactful performance artists. Maurice has a great sense of satisfaction every time he performs now. He has a solid knowing that he will reach people, touch them, and move them. And he now realizes that this is his life's purpose. Maurice is here with us today, and he and I will now perform a duet version of a dance titled why do I keep saying the letter Q?
What am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do now? Shatter self. Shatter self. Heavy limbs. Heavy limbs. Why do I keep saying the letter Q? Why do I keep saying the letter Q? Oh! <laughs> 